Welcome back. When we reviewed the Retro Pocket 3, it was hands down the best value for money for any handheld. That is, until this came along. Retroid themselves released an upgrade kit, so you can upgrade your Retro Pocket 3 to a 3 Plus. In today's video, we'll try this installation and answer the questions How difficult is it? How much time is needed? And can it be done with Gorilla Hands? Welcome to Team Manori. Subscribe. First thing we'll do is remove the micro SD while the Retro Pocket 3 is turned off. As this is used as external storage, we can use it later once it's updated. We're then going to go to Settings, scroll down to System, Reset Options, and then Erase All Data, Factory Reset. This will remove all of your personal data, so you can sell it on if you wish. Love that intro. Once the device has got to this screen, we can hold the power button and turn it off. Inside the upgrade kit, we're given many bags of stuff. Not only the main PCB, but boards for the buttons, D-pad, cables, screws, and some tools for opening it up. Let's lay down this plastic stuff to protect the screen, and let's open her up. There are a total of four security screws at the back. Take out the micro SD cover, then we'll use a guitar pick. We can then pry the case open by using the gaps around the L1 and R1 shoulder buttons. Eventually working around the whole case. We can now unscrew this large black sheet of metal. These four screws here are smaller than the rest, and they piggyback onto the other sheet of metal. Removing this, we can see the battery. We have two more screws to undo. There's one here. Pull off this tape. And there's one screw hidden under the sticker. Now I can remove the sheet, exposing the main board. As we don't want to short out any components, we now need to remove the battery. Do not use anything metal for this. Now the battery is unplugged, we need to pry it out. There was one problem though. A cable connecting two sides of the boards was actually stuck to the back of the battery. Good idea is to unclip these before you attempt this. We can now take out the left speaker, then unclip and remove the cables. Now we can take out the Wi-Fi antenna and then unscrew the main board. Lift the main board, then pry up the rumble motor before removing it fully. And now that the old board is out, we can replace it with a new one. The process is essentially the same, just in reverse. All we need to do is now replace the cables and screw it in. And before you ask, we don't need any other part of the PCB kit. Due to the terrible camera angles, we're gonna speed this up. All right, here we're going at 10 times speed. And this was actually quite an easy job. Two out of five IKEAs. It took around 40 minutes to do the whole upgrade, but as we mentioned earlier, we only needed the main PCB to upgrade this handheld. With the other parts, like the mount and the other cables, we could create a console version of the Retro Pocket 3. But for those that only wanted to upgrade their handhelds, $85 is pretty expensive, and we'd like Retroid to include a PCB-only option. And now we can play PSP games without limits. Here's OutRun 2006 playing at 3 times resolution with triple texture upscaling. It's great to see that the speakers were still in phase. And then comparing with the Plus, we can see it uses the same display. So any differences we pointed out in the Plus review 
or either due to firmware or the board design itself. So now, we can play games with power. Psycho Boy. It seems you had no problems with your gorilla hands then. Next time, I'll do the job in 10.